Welcome back to the Roadshow, everybody. Well, members of the South Kingstown Police Department have welcomed a new member to the force, and he is as cute as can be. That's right, he has the right to remain adorable, actually. <laughs> I'll meet Leo in just a moment, but first of all, we wanted to welcome to the Roadshow Police Chief Matthew Moynihan and Officer Brian Monte to talk about who this little guy is and what he's going to be doing. Good morning, gentlemen. Oh, good morning. Thanks for having he, us. First of all, i got to say hi to Leo. Do no, you mind? I know. Hi, no, Leo. Please good still. to see you, buddy. How he's are you? Whining. He's whining. Welcome. Looking great <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> and so well behaved and we couldn't be happier that he's here. Chief Moynihan, let's talk about really why the department uses compassion dogs like Leo and really what they provide. Well, I'll tell you, Leo is a 12-week-old Bernadoodle. He was donated to the department. He's our first compassion dog in South Kingston. And, you know, law enforcement's a stressful job and, uh, you know, uh, stress takes the uh, toll on an officer as they go out and do their job. And so, you know, Leo, what he's going to be able to provide, he's got two real functions for us. One is he's going to help us keep our officers healthy so that they can um, be ready and to help those in the public and, and, and help those. But then secondly, uh, he's going to act as a, as a traditional compassion dog and just really interact with members in the public. And that's what it's about, Officer Monty. When you see that little face right there, you see how cute and adorable Leo is. Knowing that he's going to make an impact within the community really must mean a lot to you and the entire team. Absolutely. Um, I'm the community resource officer for the department, so it's great to have him as a partner out there with me. Now let's talk about how something like this comes about. Is this something you've had uh, on your radar for a while now, something you've been looking to implement? Have there been previous compassion animals? Is Leo the first? So Leo is our first compassion animal, and, and officer wellness is really a very important part of law enforcement. Law enforcement is, is uh, changing dramatically as, as years go on. And so, you know, there's studies that have shown that having a dog's presence will lower anxiety, lower blood pressure, you know, and really bring a friendlier atmosphere. So, um, and Leo's work really isn't just strictly about the officer's wellness, but it's also, also the wellness of, of people in our community. Uh, unfortunately, our behavioral health calls have increased, uh, you know, Every year we have over a million uh, 911 calls that are individuals who are experiencing a behavioral health crisis. And I think it's, it's very important that to, law enforcement has the tools in order to deal with these type of calls because it can end up being either uh, a situation where we want to be able to connect someone to services or um, you know, provide them with the tools or, or the help that they need. You know, my late uncle was a police officer, and I know the stress of the job. You know, we used to see it day in and day out, what he would go through, his desire to give back, his commitment to service was unparalleled, of course, but certainly that stress can lead to people feeling that type of anxiety, maybe not knowing where to turn, and that's where somebody like Leo comes right in, doesn't he, Officer Monty? Absolutely. Let's see. Because <laughs> 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 yeah. you know, who doesn't want to have a dog and just pick him up and hold him like this? Hold him just like that. And let's talk about you know what the response of the community has been oh like so far. I mean, has it been something that you expected? Has it been unexpected? So he's great. We just we actually uh, we've just had him for about two weeks now. Uh, he's been around. We're going to bring him into the schools and into our senior centers, and he's really going to be part of our community to be out there and interact with the public. And that's and really a great tool. It really is. And this little face right here is what it's. And look at his little oh, badge. Is. I mean, I think that's the cutest right there. there I mean, is. We swore him in last week. Oh, really? And uh, he's got some uh, some big responsibility. I tell you, he's got uh, townwide jurisdiction, and so he's pretty happy about that. Has Leo made any arrests yet? <laughs> <laughs> no arrests. He's just there to help people. So. It's great. And in case of acuteness emergency, you know, you call K911. Thank you very much. Thank you very <laughs> But really, let's talk about what you hope to do in the future. Do you look to add maybe more compassion animals later on down the line, kind of see how this goes? Yeah, I mean, we're really excited about uh, rolling him out and really bringing him into the schools and him interacting with the community. Uh, again, great feedback. We had a contest that we ran on Facebook with the naming. So uh, overwhelming, we received over 1,800 uh, responses of suggested names. And uh, we narrowed it down. We, we named him Leo, and that's for law enforcement he, officer. He looks so, like a Leo. Yeah. <laughs> he really it's does. Great. Well, Leo, you've been better well-behaved than several yes. of our human guests, not these two. <laughs> Thanks for being here, buddy, as you lick my hand. Gentlemen, a pleasure to have great. you here. Thank you. Best Thank of you. luck with nice this program, you. and just great to have you here. Thanks for all the work you're doing. Commitment to service is an inspiration to us all, and we can't thank you enough. Thank you. All right. If you guys would like to learn more all about Leo, you can head to roadshow.com. But right now, we want to set things into the kitchen. Will, I don't know how you follow that, buddy.